Hello everybody. In this video, I'm going to give an update on my portfolio. Right now, my portfolio is worth $98,478.71. In the past year, I am up $24,631.69. Year to date for the year 2024, I am currently up $7,000. $556.62 Today was a green day for me. During the day, I was up $1,055.63. After hours, I am up $1,129.54. So up over $2,000 overall today. Let's go over my positions. For my options, I'm selling Amazon $187.50 covered calls. These expire July 26. My total return $21. I'm selling PayPal $60 covered calls. These expire July 26. My total return $8. I'm selling Disney $100 covered calls. These expire August 2nd. My total return, I am down 99 cents. I'm selling SoFi $9 covered calls. These expire August 2nd. My total return, I am down $60. I'm selling Disney $90 puts. These are cash secured puts. This expires August 9th. My total return, I am down $38. I'm selling SoFi $6.5 puts, cash secured puts. These expire August 9th. My total return, I am down $12. I'm selling Google. $210 covered calls. These expire December 20th. My total return, $692. I have McDonald's, $210, $200 with credit spreads. These expire December 20th. My total return, $90. I have Verizon $35, $33 with credit spreads. These expire December 20th. My total return, $503. I have Verizon $47, $49 call credit spreads. These expire December 20th. My total return, $450. For my stocks, I have 300 shares of Amazon. Amazon is at $180.83. My average cost, $98.95. My total return, $24,567.71. I have 6,000 shares of SoFi. SoFi is at $7.39. My average cost, $5.62. My total return, $10,600.80. I have 300 shares of Disney. Disney is at $89.46. My average cost, $60. My total return, $8,838. I have 100 shares of Google. Google is at $167.62. My average cost, $142.48. My total return, $2,514. I have 200 shares of PayPal. PayPal is at $57.55. My average cost, $57.70. My total return, I am down 
This is a margin account. My margin total is $87,448.08. My margin used is $52,208.28. My options collateral is $32,900. This leaves me with $2,339.80 in buying power. My margin status is low risk. My buffer is $27,142.31. This is how much money I can lose before I get margin called. My annual interest rate is 6.55%. The daily interest that I'm paying is $9.48. And I am borrowing $1,000 interest free. So a little bit of a recovery here, although I don't want to celebrate too early, but at least I gained over $2,000 today after the bloodbath that was yesterday. Oh my goodness. In the past week, I've lost so much money, um, but I gained a couple thousand of it back today. So I'm happy about that. I changed a bunch of stuff in my portfolio. I don't even know where to begin. Um, I believe Amazon... I had the strike price of 195, but now I changed it to 187 and a half. These expire tomorrow. Right now, Amazon is at $180.83. So is it gonna go up by seven and a half dollars tomorrow? Who knows? But uh, I lowered the strike price to gain a little bit more premium. Now this has worked against me before. Like with Starbucks, um, Somehow on that Friday, uh, when it expired, it went above the strike price that I chose. So I actually ended up losing out on some money. Um, so we'll see what happens. If Amazon actually does go up by that much and it goes above $187.50 tomorrow, I'm going to roll out you know, these covered calls to a later date and probably higher um, strike price as well because I do want to keep my shares of Amazon. But yeah, that's one change that I made in my portfolio. I lowered the strike price to 187 and a half. What else? Disney. I believe I changed this today as well. Disney, I had a strike price of 110, I believe. I lowered it to 100. Right now, Disney is at $89.46. So it's not doing so well. The stock uh, price is not doing so well. It's in the 80s now. So I decided to lower the strike price. What's interesting is Disney, honestly, for covered calls, it doesn't give that much premium. Like I'm barely getting anything at all. Even if everything were to work out, I mean, the market value is only negative $18. So I would get $18. <laughs> In premium at expiration at this point um, something else too I don't know if I talked about this already but uh, my SoFi covered calls I changed it to a strike price of nine dollars it was ten dollars before I'm not sure if I mentioned this already but yeah my SoFi covered calls I changed the strike price to nine dollars same reason in general I've been lowering the strike prices of my positions because I want to gain some more premium Anyways, I'm glad I recovered it a little bit today by a little more than $2,000 today. I'm happy about that in the green today. And hopefully I'll be able to make some more money. But it's such a rocky ride this year. Um, just up and down throughout the whole year. Now, I'm below 100 k again. And... Even though I gained a couple thousand dollars today, I'm still below 100k today. Um, we'll see what happens tomorrow. But yeah, it's it's been tough, honestly. It's been tough because once I go above 100k, and even though I was holding up there for a while, I'm just right back down again. It's uh, not very stable for me. All right, that's all I have for this portfolio update. If you guys like this type of content and you guys want to see more, please make sure to like and subscribe and I'll keep on making more of these videos. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.